All right. I hope everybody had a uh, good holiday. Um, I got this for Christmas. Um, it is a AutoScan FM radio kit uh, made by uh, Alenco. They make very nice kits. Um, I don't think I've ever built an Alenco kit before. Um, so this looks like a um, single chip. Oh, no, two chips. Looks like there's a audio amplifier chip and a uh, FM radio chip. And it's one of those where you push the button, automatically scans the channel and then locks on. And then there's some RF equipment up at the top here. Uh, speaker, volume control, that kind of thing. So I think we're familiar with this, probably this part of the circuit. I'm not so familiar with this part of the circuit. Um, it is a model FM88K. And um, looks like it's got lots of cool stuff inside. So let's, uh, let's take a look. All right, I've got my tray here. Um, comes with a nice uh, instruction manual. Let's take a look at that. Um, ooh, lots of pictures. Uh, theory of operation. Uh, oh, here's this. Here's the uh, circuit diagram. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at that. So, yeah, here's a single chip. Uh, what's the chip number? Uh, TDA7088T. Um, so it looks like there's an oscillator. Looks like there's a, uh, a, a voltage dependent capacitor. Um, and there's a mixer, there's a trap circuit here. Uh, let's see, the antenna comes in the top, radio filter. So the, fil the radio signal comes in, it gets mixed with a local oscillator. Uh, the IF comes out through a filter, into an IF amplifier, into another IF filter, over to an IF limiter, demodulator. Uh, there's a tuning circuit here. And then it goes into the audio amplifier. And then there's an uh, external audio amplifier, the uh, LM386, uh, and away she goes. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, it talks how to solder. Um, wow. So very, very detailed instructions. This is a great, uh, great type of kit for a beginner. Um, tells you exactly every every step, everything you need to do. Uh, lots of pictures. Uh, tells you uh, where things go, and there's a checklist. So you can once you put something in, you can check it off so you don't forget anything. Um, kind of like the old Heathkit days. I think it's a little better than Heathkit actually. Um, so there's even a quiz at the end to see if you know what you're doing. The number of cycles produced per second by a source of sound is called the amplitude, vibration, sound wave, or frequency. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I think it's a, a really nice, uh, really nice looking kit. Let's take a look at the parts. Um, let's see, this looks like a this looks like a sealed bag. Looks like there's a 9 volt battery. And let's take a look at the PC board. Ah. So there's one uh, uh, one surface mount part that's already loaded on the board. So that's our FM radio. Um, and then everything else is through hole. And it is a single sided board. Uh, Red on one side and a green solder mask on the other. Uh, looks pretty, looks very high quality for a single sided board. Um, doesn't look like a phenolic board, almost looks like an FR4 board. So, uh, looks, uh, looks uh, good quality. And uh, now this is a really nice touch. All of the parts are uh, put on this card. So you don't have to go searching around. They're all they're all laid out for you. So that's that's super cool. 
Oh, look at this. You can get uh, even get some solder. Um, antenna. Let me zoom out here. Antenna, and then what else is a secondary bag? Got some screws. Uh, here's the potentiometer and knob, some switches, and our speaker. So, yeah, Veractor diode uh, is the uh, variable capacitor. Um, that's what sets the oscillator at different frequencies. You put a different voltage on it, capacitance changes, so it'll oscillate at a different frequency. And uh, it's all uh, cheapy ceramic uh, uh, capacitors. I don't think there's any NPO or anything like that in here. Although you never know. And uh, yeah, let's get uh, let's get it uh, going here. All right. So the first step is to do uh, this section here. Um, LEDs, diodes, uh, all kinds of stuff, so it tells you exactly where they go. Um, they actually have the part descriptor as well, like R1, C2, C3. And then when you go over here to the, um, to the parts, they're also marked. Um, let's see if I can zoom in here. There we go, like this one says R5, it's a 10 ohm, even gives the color code. And so here, R5. So everything is uh, everything is done really really well. Uh, so it's really really hard to get things wrong. It tells you exactly where they go and what values they are and everything. So uh, so after you've uh, done this particular checklist, um, this is what the PC board will look like. Uh, we have uh, uh, the part of the uh, output circuit done, the uh, audio amplifier. And the volume knob, which has a uh, goes on the back side here. Um, so that is section one of the kit. Um, let's see, even has some things if you're not quite sure, like how how uh, oops, how diodes work, uh, the band. What does the band mean, and what side does it go on? And uh, capacitors are marked with a, a negative terminal. And they show you how, how that works. Um, they show you how ICs work. There's a little notch that denotes uh, pin 1. And there's a notch in the socket here. And there's a notch on the PC board. So that they tell you how that works in a, in a thing. Um, oh, I did not do this right. Mount C2 on the back of the board as shown. I put it on the front of the board. I don't think that's going to matter. But <laughs> anyway, I guess I should have put that on the, on the back. Um, okay, so the next section here is uh, uh, this little checklist here. Looks like we put in uh, five things, uh, so let's do that next. All right, so we've added these components, and then there's a couple of things we had to do. Uh, install the battery holder and install the speaker. Um, the speaker comes with some double sticky foam that holds the uh, speaker around the edge and uh, it gets soldered on and then um, uh, these components down here get added uh, some very good instructions on how to uh, correctly orient the uh, varistor um, so we're ready for uh, we're ready for the next step zoom in a bit here get an idea of how we're doing alright so uh, we have the last page here done which was uh, adding a whole bunch of components, um, putting on the inductors and, and stretching them out. This one requires a 1 16th inch gap between the windings, so you need to stretch it out um, to match that. Um, zoom in here. That's the little coil here. This little coil just pretty close together. This one needs to be stretched out a bit. And uh, everything, is, uh, everything is in there. The very last step was to add the uh, add the switches. The S switch is the um, what does the S switch do? And there's an R switch. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. 
the red LED should light. Press the reset button, R, and then press the scan button. So reset and scan. So that's what those do. And that's volume. And the last thing to do is to uh, uh, attach the antenna, uh, which goes here. And yeah, let's find a battery and uh, see if it works. All right, uh, put a battery in the other side and uh, have the antenna sticking out. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. Um, so, the, uh, there's a switch on the volume knob, so we'll switch that. Can you oh dear. guys tell whoa, us whoa, 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 it's too loud. Uh, let me... Can we use view? Oh, great. So when you turn it on, it's max volume, and then you can keep going and it turns down. That's kind of annoying. So, reset. And scan. Scan. Oh, interesting. Like this is a... Uh, anyway, seems to work. So the uh, biking. Biking. So antenna, biking? the uh, speaker's not uh, not all that great. Um, so I would uh, probably hook it up to an external speaker if you want to really use this thing. But it does work. <laughs> Whoa! And you have to go all the way to maximum volume to turn it off. So that's kind of a pain. So maybe you should rewire the uh, rewire the the uh, wiper on the. Uh, on the potentiometer here to go the opposite way. Anyway, uh, there it is. So, uh, other other things in the book here. There's a testing section. Uh, there's a troubleshooting section. Uh, glossary of terminology. So it's a very nice little learning a learning kit too. So highly recommended. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't buy this so. I'm not sure exactly what the price is on these things, um, but I think it's probably well worth the money for uh, somebody who's never built an electronics kit. I think this is a really, really good one, and um, I think it could really get somebody interested in electronics because it, it does, in the beginning, it does actually have the theory of how this thing works. Um, so it really could be a first step to somebody getting into ham radio or getting into electrical engineering. Um, it even talks about uh, crossover distortion of amplifiers. Uh, talks about the uh, LM386 uh, amplifier here, uh, different ways to connect it with different gains. Um, so there's a lot of really good information in here and uh, good, good instructions for how to solder and how to assemble and things. Um, so yeah, um, highly recommended. Uh, go to www.linko.com and again this is the uh, uh, model FM88K um, nice little radio kit. Um, I believe they make uh, other kits as well for radios. I believe they have an AM radio, um, maybe some other radios. Um, but uh, this one's really high quality, and the uh, uh, construction with all of the uh, with all of the parts labeled and everything. This is much much better than any Chinese kit that you'll get. Uh oh, I'm missing a I'm missing a part here, or I haven't put a part in. Uh, it has a star next to it, so maybe it's an extra, or maybe it's uh, maybe it's supposed to go someplace else. I didn't read the instructions all that close. Um, oh, here it is. C21, maybe. Uh, maybe it's another way to increase different gain levels of uh, the amplifier. Or maybe I just forgot to put it in. Um, uh, C21 is supposed to be a 10K. 
which I don't seem to have in there. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> oh, here it is. It fell off. So, anyway, I'll have to put that one back in. Obviously, it works without it. <laughs> and I'm not sure what the C star does. Um, it looks like it's an optional um, optional capacitance for, for something, probably in the manual. And I'll go ahead and put this uh, 10 microfarad across the uh, it's a bypassing for the uh, for the uh, audio amplifier. Um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, if you get one, I'm sure you'll enjoy it.